All right, distributive property, okay? This is what distributive property looks like. You have um, an addition problem inside parentheses and a multiplication problem on the outside. <coughs> right now, we can easily do what's inside. Two plus four is six, six times two is 12. Okay, we can easily do that. But later on, we're, we're gonna use variables and stuff where you can't add them because they're unlike terms. Uh, so what we need to know is just your property. And that's where we distribute what's outside to everything on the inside. The sign does not change. So we do two times two, the sign stays the same, and then two times four right here. These are what we call equivalent expressions because they have the same value. 2 times 2 is 4, okay? Uh, 2 times 4 is 8, which equals 12 as well, right? So these are equivalent expressions because they have the same value. This shows the shared property. We distribute what's on the outside to everything on the inside. And I'll, I'll show you here in a little bit where you've been doing this since the third grade once you learned multiplication, okay? It just looks a little different. All right, write all this down. Thank you. We have A uh, times B plus C. What they do is this is just an example to show you how it works, okay? Uh, which we've already worked one, but I'm just showing you, okay? A times B plus A times C. So we do the exact same thing with the numbers here. Five times six plus five times seven. Your homework today is going to ask you to rewrite using distributed property and then evaluate. All right? So 5 times 6 is 30. 5 times 7 is 35. So my answer is 65. Okay? Uh, which you can check. What's 6 plus 7? 13. What's 5 times 13? 65. So are they equal? Yes. Okay, so you must have done it right. Okay. Um, then you have this where it's subtraction. Okay, nothing changes except the sign. Okay, A times B, keep the sign the same, and then A times C. Uh, if it's on the back, does it change anything? Like this is 9 minus 3 times 8. No, it doesn't change anything. Remember, Okay, we can change the order of multiplication and not change your answer. So we just distribute the 8 out. So 9 times 8 minus 3 times 8. Or 8 times 9 minus 8 times 3. It doesn't matter. 9 times 8 is what? 3 times 8 is 24. Work those out. What's 72 minus 24? 48. 48. Okay. All right, write this down. All right, so you're gonna. This is what your problems gonna look like. It's gonna say evaluate, but the first thing it says is rewrite using distributive property. So I distribute the five out. So five times twelve, then five plus five times four. Uh, the sign stays the same. Okay, right? and then we work it out. Five times twelve is sixty. Five times four is twenty that equals 80 right okay now before I work the next one I want to just just talk about this your property to you okay that what is 12 plus 4 16, 16 right now we now we know that 5 times 16 is 80 right we just worked it out um, but what if you hadn't have known okay if you if you did it this way, right, the old way that you've been doing it since third grade, you take five times six, which is what? Five times six is 30, okay? And then what's five times 10? 50. What is 30 plus 50? 80. Okay, isn't that how you've done it? Okay, now let's see the difference here. Let's see if there's any difference than distributed property. Okay, I'm gonna split 16 into 10 and six. Okay, just listen. What's five times 10? 
What's five times six? Isn't that what you've been doing since third grade? Yes, distributive property is just a different way of writing it. But that's how you learn multiplication with two digits. Okay, nothing has changed. All right, so let's work eight times 20 minus three. Okay, do you know what eight times 17 is off, is off the top of your head? No. no, so what we can do is we can split it up to 20 minus three. Okay, uh, eight times 20 you know, right? It's 160. What's it? 8 times 3? 24. 160 minus 24 is what? 136. So if you didn't know what 8 times 17 was, you could, you could do 20 minus 3. You know what 20 times 8 is, and you know what 3 times 8 is. Work it out. Okay? I, I mean, that's just one way of doing it. All right, any questions? Write these down. All right, some of your problems might say uh, find the product uh, mentally. Okay, if you know what 5 times 13 is, okay, then write it down. But if you don't know in your head, you should do it like this. 5 times 10 plus 5 times 3. 50 plus 15 is 65. 65. Okay. Okay, now... 5 times 13, that is easy. We should all know it's 65, but 13 times 15, that one we don't know. So in my head, okay, I'm writing it out, but in your head, because it says mentally, okay, I would do 13 times 10, and I would do 13 times 5, because I know both of those. 13 times 10 is 130. 13 times 5, well, it just worked out, 65. So I know my answer is 195. That's what you should do in your head. Split up 15, okay, in the 10 and 5. That's what distributive property helps us out with, okay? All right, write this down. This is going to be what your homework says for these type problems. All right, this is what we've been working to. This is why you need to know distributive property because we're going to start using algebraic expressions, expressions with variables that you don't know the value to. If you don't know the value to them, you can't add them or subtract them to anything. Okay, but you can multiply them. Unlike terms, you can't add or subtract, but you can multiply. So in this case, I since I can't do anything to x plus five, I don't know what x is, but I can multiply it by four. So I distribute the four out. Four x plus four times five. Okay. And then I need to re then I need to work it out as much as I can. I can't do anything to four x, but I can do four times five, which is twenty. There's my answer. All right, distribute six out since we can't add ten and y because they're not like terms. Six y plus ten times six, which is sixty. So six y plus sixty. That's my answer. All right, write these down. Uh, we distribute the 3 out. Nothing changes even though there's a subtraction sign. We just have a subtraction sign inside there. 3m minus 4 times 3. So my answer is 3m minus 12. I, excuse me. I can't do anything else because I don't know what m is. So I just leave it as this. This is the exact same thing. I distribute negative 9 out. So negative 9 times n is negative 9n. I keep the sign. This is what I want you to do. Keep the sign. And then do negative 9 times 7, which is negative 63. So we have minus negative 63. We have two negatives side by side, so we make them positive. My answer is negative 9 plus 63. That's all I do. All right, write this down. We have negative 7 times e minus 4. So I distribute the negative 7 out. Negative 7 times e is negative 7e. I keep the minus sign. I do negative 7 times 4, which is negative 28. I can't have a minus negative, so I make them positive. It's negative 7e plus 28. Here is your homework.